Worst Cheaters on Paternity Court. I'm sure you'll never come across any man as confident of his swindling as Mr. Silva. The guy was the most disrespectful, immature, narcissistic, and all around despicable man to ever set foot in paternity court. And gosh, his thoughts on infidelity were just awful. I always felt like it was okay for men to go out, have sex, cheat, come home to their family, and women can't go out, have sex, and you know, come home, and especially with a baby. Yeah, Legend's daddy believes that he is being tricked into paternity, while Miss Reeves was persistent that the defendant was the only man in her life, and no one else could be the father of her child. The baby mama claimed that the alleged father was denying out of his own insecurities. All he wanted to do was cheat on me. I've been nothing but faithful to him since I first met him. He's projecting his unfaithfulness onto you. Yes, ma'am. Well, Mr. Silva's face insisted that it was okay for men to step out of the relationship. Well, women were not given such liberty by God. Yeah, he was that dumb. Anyway, the guy was very confident about his assertion, and things like that pushed Judge Lake's schooling antennas on. In the conquering and the <laughs> ruling of man, inclusive in that is the right to cheat, have other women outside the relationship, but women cannot. Yes, Your Honor. It was like Mr. Silva didn't want us to take him seriously. However, he further went on to say that if he does go out and cheat, that his lady is busy doing the same. Then what's wrong with that? Don't you like a taste of your own medicine? Why would you expect her to sit at home and allow you to cheat on her? It's just really the fact that she came home, she came telling me that I'm the father of legend. You know, and I just, honestly, I don't believe that. All right. After having enough of Mr. Silva's antics, Judge Lake moved on to the pregnancy part, and she was informed that after two months of their relationship, it was revealed that mommy was pregnant, and this made the guy at the podium doubt the paternity of the child. Soon as I told him that I was pregnant, he was like, okay, with who? Your Honor, um, we, we, were, we were broken up for four weeks, Your Honor. I called her texting her ex. Is that why you broke up? Yes, Your Honor, when uh, you confronted I confronted her, her about it? texting her ex. Okay, we have to hand this to the defendant. Locking the phone, messages from an ex, and breakup would raise suspicion in anyone's mind, and Judge Lake acknowledged that too. We all know that's the part where Lake tells all the mommies some hard truths. If he catches you on the phone texting your ex, that could give rise to some doubt. Yep, bottom line was that even if Mr. Not So Hot was doing his thing, right now it was about the paternity of little legend, and for his sake, mommy has to be as honest as possible. Let's see how real she can get. Your window of conception would have been two months while before we that together. while you were together. Yes, ma'am. But he never saw anything in my phone like, oh, let's hang out, oh, let's chill. Daddy did sign the birth certificate, even though he doubts it. Mr. Silva confessed that he did love the baby and his mama, so the paternity doubt was a double-edged sword for him. I'm very happy to hear that despite your doubt, Mr. Silva, you stepped up to the plate. Yes, Your Honor. Does it affect your relationship with him in terms of bonding? Do you look at him? I love him. I, I fell in love with him. So far, Mr. Silva fell short at his every excuse for acting this crazy. But at the end of the day, this court isn't about people making bad choices with their lives, but rather about the children and their closure which calls for the confusion of this rodeo to end with some results. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Silva, you are the father. Panky Panky with a friend has left Miss Haysbird and her son stranded because her amigo isn't man enough to step up and support his own child. And we know when that happens, you slap some DNA results into the alleged face. But first, let's see how this all started. I met this clown at the Washington Redskins Stadium. <laughs> when we used to let's use respectful language. We were co-workers, and then after that, we became friends. Like, okay. we used to chill with each other outside of work. Whoa, that's clear and ironic at the same time. But the plaintiff knew that Mr. Howard already had another woman lingering around. Still, she fell for his smooth talk as he played waiting to get married to her. And we know women just can't resist that. Once I got pregnant and I told him I was pregnant, he acted like he won the lottery. He was oh, Junior, oh, I can't wait for you to have my son. He was so excited. Where the money at? My fifth or sixth month of pregnancy, he wanted to change up the table. So the clueless guy was stepping up until his own girlfriend had no idea about his side chick, who called and checked up on Miss Haysbert now and then to make sure she wasn't with Mr. Howard because she was also pregnant. Did you get two girls pregnant at the same time? Yes, I did, Your Honor, but I didn't mean to. 
Oh, that's the only thing you she did call me a clown. I won't respect your call. Is he really that dumb? Or is he just acting like that? Well, anyway, he admitted that he knew about the pregnancy, but had doubts since they both said they weren't committed, and mommy was bouncing around. He said, I'm pregnant. No. Oh, you is? I said, damn. So I said, I said. Mr. Howard, you in the court. I apologize, Keep man. Mr. Howard had both women wrapped around his finger, thinking he would marry them. What a hypocrite. Believe it or not, while he was acting all happy about the baby coming, he only gave hand-me-downs to the baby mama. I'm you got all hand-me-downs. Why would I give you my son hand-me-downs? You crazy. bought him hand-me-downs. Oh, the clothes were done with I would never call my, judge, my, 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 my son no hand-me-downs. What happened next made things more clear about the defendants frisking around. Yeah, the baby mama had proof that she was not crazy nor a liar. They also showed that grandma's ring was a token of love. I'm just a bad like, guy and all this stuff. Won't you see the text message that she wrote me and said that my son was dead? Since you want to bust out talking about I love you and I want you, girl, please. Wait, what's up with those messages? Apparently, Mr. Howard had received a text which said that his son had passed away. According to him, it was a cheap stun from the plaintiff to get his attention. But Miss Haysbert claimed that it was the defendant's girlfriend's doing. Well, let's get the lady in. She knew that for them to get drunk, she would have respect for herself to sleep with somebody else's man. And Mr. Howard, during that time, you were with Ms. Lent, but you were also with Ms. Haber. Yeah. I feel bad for Ricardo Jr. for getting stuck in this mess. These people are just acting like messed up brats. Nobody was ready to accept their mistake. They were doing paternity giving away their heirlooms like it was no big deal. Ms. Haysbert pawned what you why the smirk? Because I did. She, that's what I deal with. Huh? Because he gave it to me because he said he wanted to marry you me. Nothing. Therefore, I, you nothing. I pawned it. Okay, this girl is frightening me. So much anger, so much bitterness. Well, when one gets fooled hard in love, they tend to act like this. Nonetheless, this courtroom is about the people who can't speak for themselves. That is why it was time for the results to do the talking. Mr. Howard, you are his father. I'm gonna so be a it man. is what it is. I'm gonna be a Don't man. Don't call my phone. I'm gonna be a man. Repulsive confusion has plagued this mother's life. That's why Miss Glenster came into the court to seek Judge Lake's assistance to discover the truth about her fraternal twins. She pleaded that there were two men in the picture when she conceived the baby. So you know, when more than one man gets involved, Paternity court might be their last station. Since the moment you learned you were pregnant with twins, you are convinced your husband fathered your eight-month-old son, Richard. Yes, Your Honor. The trial began with baby mama asserting that everything has been upside down since she clenched into the love triangle between the husband and the lover. Now her child was being juggled between two fathers for twins. For the fact of the matter that I'm still married to John in a relationship with Scotty, just everything's been upside down, not knowing who with the twins. So we went down the same road, you know, the conception one. But it turns out the confusion arose from her being intimate with both guys at the same time. Oh my! So this is why it's necessary to think about the outcome before you start any sexual activity, or a paternity dispute will wait for you as a result. John, Keisha, Scotty, and I was at the house, and Scotty and John were working on the bathroom to get it fixed up. We gotta talk about the kids, close the door, and then... Up next, it was revealed that when Mr. Ramey left, baby mama picked her boyfriend back up and had makeup intercourse with him. Oh man! I don't know what was wrong with these people. They needed to install a stop button. After John and Keisha had left the house that night and brought him back to the house, told him I was sorry and asked him to stay. Do you start having sex with Mr. Stacy again? It was that night. However, things got even more nasty when the baby's mommy disclosed that all three people had been sleeping together. Ah, somebody please make some good sense of them. This obnoxious scene was not supposed to happen. I mean, I was with them together and I just want answers for my children because they deserve to know and John and Scotty deserve to know. Did you state that you had a threesome with your husband and your boyfriend? Yes, I did. Nonetheless, it was obvious that when this kind of notorious situation arose, where you cannot be sure of anything, here, Miss Glenster was explaining the reasons for believing her twins have different fathers, like this. Tell the court why you believe Raylan is Mr. Stacy's. Her mannerisms, she's very quiet, laid back. Don't mess with her, she don't mess with you. Same as Scotty is. For better understanding and to conclude this conflict, Judge Lake called the witness to the podium. 
Miss Atkins testified that she was 100% sure that none of them were the father. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's something new. Mr. Stacy is the father of one or both of the twins? No, I do not. Oh, really? Yes, really. So you're saying you don't believe either man's the father? No. As it was evident that this to and fro testimony was not making sense to resolve this problem, Judge Lauren had to dismiss the testimony. So let's get that envelope to conclude this scuzzy confusion. It has been determined by this court, the biological father is Stacy. <laughs>